Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I put this here because I'm gonna do a little talking in this intro, so you know, you guys have something to look at instead of just this plain brown boring box. But yeah, anyways, as you guys can see by this note and obviously the title, we are gonna be doing another K-pop photo card haul slash like haul of random other stuff that I bought from Makari Japan using Bai Yi. So thank you Bai Yi again for sponsoring this video once again. Y'all probably already know what Bai Yi is by now, but in case you don't, Bai Yi is a Japanese proxy service where they kind of act as like a middleman where you can buy stuff from Japanese websites that don't ship outside of Japan. So yeah, basically you buy stuff through Baiyi, through their website, the items get shipped to their warehouse, and then they ship it from their warehouse to you. So I specifically use Mercari Japan to buy K-pop photo cards that are like cheaper or like harder to find, etc, etc. I buy like pretty much a majority of my photo cards from Mercari Japan. I actually have a tutorial on how to use Baiyi, more specifically Mercari Japan, up on my channel already, so I'll definitely card it or like link it down in the description if you guys want to know how to use Baiyi to buy photo cards or just anything really from like a Japanese website. So if you guys do want to check out Baiyi, I do have a link in the description where if you sign up using that link, you can get 2,000 yen off of your purchase from Mercari Japan specifically. So yeah, um, definitely use that link, get a discount, save some moolah, that's like around $20 USD, so that's definitely a lot. So thank you so much again, Baiyi, for sponsoring this video once again. Love y'all. So yeah, anyways, as you guys can see, I have this big ass box. It is literally humongous. I didn't expect it to be this big, but I think I remember some things that I bought that are quite large in size. So yeah, let's just go ahead and open it now. Oh geez, there's a lot. Okay, so here's everything. Um, I don't even remember it being like this much. This seems like way more than I thought I originally got, but yeah, anyways, I am super excited. There's a lot of exciting things here, a lot of things that will complete collections, and it's probably in the title of this video, but there might have been a new collection here, so uh, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> So yeah, I will go ahead and put um, these big things to the side. Let's go ahead and start with the little things first. What I like about Baiyi is that they put things in like these envelopes for you, so it's a lot more like organized. So yeah, let's go ahead and go through the first envelope first. Oh, okay, I guess we're starting off. Oh my, what is this, huh? I don't remember getting this photo card. Who is this? What? What are you guys talking about? No, I'm not starting to collect Sangwoon from an hyphen. I'm not collecting a third member. Oh, okay, that was an accident. <laughs> what? I mean, I guess since it's here, might as well, you know? <laughs> okay, so yes, if it wasn't obvious from my horrible acting, um, I am picking up a third member of an hyphen. So yeah, okay, so let me explain a little bit before y'all like go crazy in the comments. I actually wasn't about to start collecting Hongun like anytime soon really. I was kind of like gonna wait for a little bit, you know, because I just started my Hypen collection like in general and I didn't want to like jump into collecting three members like right away and spend all that money because like I said, Hypen photo cards are quite expensive, especially Hongun's. But I was doing this Baiyi sponsorship and I was trying to complete like other collections first before starting a new collection because obviously I have a bunch of other unfinished collections I need to like complete but I could not find them like for my life like a lot of the cards that I'm missing are really hard to find or like super overpriced so I was like well I have all this like buy credit I can use so I guess this is a sign this is destiny this is fates for me to start collecting Sungun. so yeah thank you buy for you know enabling my bad decisions <laughs> but yes I am gonna collect Sungun from now on. I definitely do think he's gonna be like a slower, like definitely the slowest collection out of like all three members of Enhypen. I just really have been loving Enhypen lately, so. So yeah, from now on, Sungun's gonna be like, I guess the lowest priority since he's like a third member that I'm collecting, which is a lot for Enhypen, but yeah. Anyways, enough blabbering. I do have his day one photo card. His photo cards are so adorable too. I love the nature one, so yeah, that was my little explanation of me starting to collect Sungun. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we'll go ahead and put this here. Moving on. 
So yeah, I guess that gives you a little spoiler of what a majority of these cards are gonna be. <gasps> Okay, so if you guys didn't see my big collective haul from when I bought like over 100 photo cards, I did buy this photo card for like normal photo card price for Red Velvet, and that photo card turned out to be a museum card, which was like so annoying and I was so frustrated at that. So I just went ahead and bought the same card again because I really do want to get like the original album press cards. So yeah, it says not for sale. There's like actual specs. So it's actually an album card this time. I made sure to double check everything. This seller like showed the back of the photo card and stuff. So yeah, I finally have the actual red velvet Russian roulette card for Yeti. I love like the whole red vibe. It's so pretty. So Yes, finally have the actual card this time. Okay, this one is kind of thick. Oh my. Once again, we have more Sangwoon cards. Okay, so this was a two set for this Lenti and this photo card. So, so I believe this one is the down version selfie, which is probably my favorite concept out of the three. Like, I love the whole like muted, like neutral color concept. And he looks so cute in the selfie. So there's this one. And then I also have his up Lenti. I know it's like random because it's like different versions, but it's fine. As long as I get all of them, then it's okay. So yay. By the way, this is not in any particular order. Obviously these are in envelopes. So I can't really see or know what photo cards are in these. So yeah, it's not gonna be as organized as my last collective haul. <laughs> okay, still a mystery. <gasps> Oh my goodness, finally! Okay, so I think I complete my Chaehyun collection. Actually, I don't complete it. I'm actually like almost done with my Chaehyun collection. So yeah, like I can't believe I like made so much progress. I didn't think I would because he's like one of the hardest members to collect in NTT and especially his older cards are really expensive. So this was one of the collections I definitely wanted to complete in this haul. So yeah, this is his regular regular set, which was definitely not cheap but I managed to get it so I don't know which version is which but they look pretty similar anyways oh my god fun fact this was the era that I started to collect NCT like as a whole so it's giving me throwback vibes oh my god he looks so good so yeah I think I only need his Neozone Kino actually and then I'm done so yeah I just can't believe that I'm making so much progress I like, I remember saying, like, I wasn't going to collect all of Chaehyun's cards because they're going to be too difficult, but here we are. <gasps> okay, another exciting collection that I'm going to complete. So, Myungo is the second member that I completed in Seventeen. Finally, it's taken way too long for me to complete another member of Seventeen, and I finally did it. So, I was missing two photo cards, and this was one of them. This is from the Love and Lettery package. I found this for a pretty decent price. He's actually not that expensive. So, yeah, I found this one. It's, like, in pretty great condition, too. Like, it's beautiful. Ooh, so cute. Moving on to the next one. Okay, some of these envelopes open up... <laughs> So weird. <gasps> OMG! Okay, I also decided to buy some Mark non-album cards. I was kind of thinking of what photo cards I should get in this collective haul. I mean, this photo card by E haul. And I recently decided that Mark was like my ult of ults, like my number one ult out of all my ult biases. So I really wanted to start collecting as many of his non-album stuff, especially the selfie photo cards because they are too adorable. So yeah, this was actually a photo card I was about to get, I think in my second ever Baiyi haul on my channel, but the order got canceled. So I decided to finally pick it up again, but this is from his paper toy that they did during Limitless era. This is such a freaking throwback. And I can't believe I found this card though, even though it was kind of expensive, but I could not resist. Look at how adorable he is with this pink curly hair. I can't believe they gave him this hairstyle though, the ramen noodle hair, but also look at the back. It's so cute, Ugh, so adorable. So yeah, I could not resist. LOL, it says, please make the Mark paper toy well. <laughs> So yeah, so this listing was only for the photo card. I couldn't find them together, but I did find the paper toy and I bought it. So that'll come up later. But yeah, I definitely will make the paper toy. Okay, next up we have this. I kind of like that they put these in envelopes though. Like it gives an element of surprise. <gasps> More Sangun. I think I actually complete Sangun's like album cards. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna only get um, album cards for Sangun. 
I only collect Jay for non-album cards since he's like my top bias. I'm gonna do the same thing like I did with Jake where I buy like three non-album cards to finish like Border Day 1 page. So yeah, I didn't buy those in this haul but in my next photo card haul. But anyways, we have this concept card. This is from V. This one is the up version. Oh my god, Prince Hung Hoon. He looks like royalty. So pretty. And then this is his um, down lenty, I believe, which is so cute. The way he's just blinking, staring into our souls. So yeah, that was more Sungwoon cards. <gasps> oh my god, yay! Even more Mark Noun album cards. So yeah, this one was a little bit pricey, but I can't believe I didn't buy this originally. But this is the 90s Love Trading card set that they did so it comes with like one non holo card and one holo card it was hockey jersey mark so i could not resist obviously and it comes in this cute little envelope dun, 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 dun. OMG. Okay, so this one is the non-album one. These are actually pretty expensive, like retail price for like two photo cards. And you actually pull them randomly. And I think it's possible to not get a holo card. This, this is like a special card. So this one is the non-holo one. Ugh, I can never get over hockey jersey mark. How many videos have I gotten a hockey jersey mark card and then this one is the hollow like special version of it i kind of wish they used a different picture though instead of it being like exactly the same but it's still pretty regardless love hollow we know that and then the back is so pretty it's like a gold it's like all gold oh my god hey you can see me here Hello. But yeah, so pretty. I can't wait to add these to my collection. Does anyone else like keep these envelopes too? Like, I don't know. I just never can like get rid of them. So definitely will keep that. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, that one was satisfying. Oh my God, this is so cute. They made this like custom like gold um, card. <gasps> that is actually so cute. OMG. Okay, now we have even more Sangwon photo cards. <laughs> So this one is also from Border Day 1. I believe this is the Dusk... Wait, no. This is the Dawn version. It's pretty similar to this photo card. All three of them are pretty similar, but still really cute. So yeah, these cards were definitely a pain in the butt because Day 1 is like the older album. Even though it wasn't even that long ago, it was only like in November, but these cards still go for super expensive. So here's this one. <gasps> okay, another NCT card that I really desperately needed. Oh my goodness. So even though Empathy, like, they, it was reprinted, for some reason, the Empathy cards are still super expensive for certain members. But this was literally, like, the last Korean photo card I needed for Geno. And, like, I couldn't get, like, a trade for it or anything. So I was like, you know what? I'll just bite the bullet and get it. So yeah, it's him. Oh my god. He honestly takes, like, some of the cutest selfies, like so cute but yeah this is the reality version of the empathy photo card and yeah i think the only photo card i'm missing is his japanese card from their japanese debut but honestly that photo card is so hard to get i don't think i'll ever get it so i guess i'll temporarily say that my collection is complete so yeah the last geno card i needed besides hot sauce obviously <laughs> oh wait actually i think i do have some geno hot sauce cards in here i think i bought a couple oh this is not going well <laughs> Okay, what am I even doing? There we go. <gasps> oh my god, okay, these cards definitely had to be some of my favorite. I think the Dusk version for the Border Day 1 cards, like, for all the members, are so cute and they're so beautiful. Like, why they had to make these ones the same but, like, these ones different? I don't know, but yes, yeah, some of these cards are so, like, beautiful. So this one is um, the Dusk version for day one. OMG, he looks so cute. Oh my god, the Apple photo card. I did buy the Apple photo card, but that one was, like, oh my god, that one was an absolute nightmare. But I did get it, so yeah. I can't wait to put these in my binder, though. They're so pretty. Okay, I keep mentioning this, but I did want to complete as many collections as I possibly could before I started to collect Sangun photo cards. So yeah, I did mention this quite a lot, but I did decide to recently stop collecting certain members for 17 because it was honestly like getting too much. So what I decided to do is buy like at least one photo card per like member for the members I'm stop I'm not gonna collect anymore for 17. I don't know, it'll make sense. I'll definitely make a video about it. But yeah, so I did buy like some photo cards just to like complete a row or something. So yeah, for example, I bought this Boys V card for Mingyu. Oh, it's a little dirty and what the heck? 
This photo card is like damaged also. What the hell? It was not cheap, but anyways, it is this one. Okay, showing off some muscle. <laughs> so I'm not gonna get the other Mingyu Boys P card. So this one is good enough because this itself was really expensive. All right, moving on to the next envelope. <gasps> Yay, another Yeti card. All right, so originally I did buy this in my like 100 photo card haul, but this order got canceled because the seller was just inactive. So I got really unlucky and Red Velvet's Japanese cards are kind of hard to find, especially Sappy for some reason. Sappy is like super hard to find nowadays, but I guess it makes sense since most of their albums are out of print, but this listing popped up and I was like, oh my God, I need this immediately. It was like the first one I seen in like months. So I bought it and I secured it. So I finally finished both of her Japanese photo card sets. Look at the back though. It's so pretty. I love like the nature scene. This is also like a really like sturdy and thick card, which I like, but it is so cute. Love the flowers. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The hell? What? <laughs> okay, it says Hangun, so I'm guessing this is a Enhypen card. <gasps> so this is the other card for Order Day 1, the Dusk version. Like I said, these cards are definitely my favorite. I think these are my favorite cards out of like all of the photo cards for Enhypen. They're so pretty. Oh, I wish I can collect OT7 for them, but alas, they are too expensive. So yeah, but he's making a little cute pouty face. It's so adorable. So yeah, now we just wait for the Apple card to show up. <gasps> More Enhypen cards. Are we shocked? Honestly, I'm not even mad that they used cardboard instead of top loaders because now I have too many top loaders. And I recently bought a lot of shipping shields as an alternative for top loaders. I bought a hundred of them from a group order, so I definitely do not need more top loaders. So yeah, I ain't even mad that they're using cardboard. <laughs> but yes, it is this two set. So this one, I think these are both from the hype version actually. So first we have this one, the concept one. OMG. For some reason, I don't know if it's just me, but Sung Loki Loki gives me like Lino vibes from Stray Kids. I don't know, I feel like they kind of have the same vibe, like personality-wise. They don't look like that similar, but I just get the same vibes from them for some reason. So yeah, I don't know if that's just me. <laughs> but yeah, this is the hype concept card, love. And then this is the hype lenticular. Oh my God, he's holding an eyeball. <laughs> okay, cool. Giving very much high school crush vibes. I'm trying to do like a little ASMR moment, but my fan is so loud. <laughs> I'm sorry if you can hear the whirring of the fan. It's just so hot in California. Oh my God. Wait, what? Okay, um, not how I imagined this photo card to arrive. Oh my God, what the actual hell? Why? Okay, first of all, I really like the stickers that they used. Okay, so I bought this photo card. This is the NCT 127 special one day Japanese photo card. I think this is from like their fa Japanese fan club, like for 2019, 2020. I forget, but what the hell? It showed a picture. Oh wait, it literally says 2018 right there. <laughs> but oh my God, wait, in the listing, it showed a picture of the envelope. It said I was gonna come with the envelope, but they didn't even give it to me. What the heck? I'm mad. I really wanted that envelope for some reason, but whatever. Anyways, I just got the card. I remember when this photo book just came out, I really wanted to get it, but it was super expensive. So I never got the chance to get the actual like photo book with like the photo card and stuff. But I saw this listing for this card. I really wanted to get it because it's so adorable. So yeah, I just caved in and got it. It's super thick. Like, oh my God, why do they make Japanese cards like super thick? I really like that. I wish they made all cards this thick, but but I really miss black hair mark. That's a superior hair color in my opinion. But yeah, still disappointed that it didn't come with the envelope. Like, why didn't you just give it to me? Don't put it in the picture, you know? That's false advertising. <gasps> okay, another Chaehyung card. Seeing all these Chaehyung cards really like makes me think about how long it's been since we had a NCT 127 like actual comeback. I know they just released like a digital single with Amoeba music, but I mean like an actual like comeback, you know, like it's been over a year, which is crazy. So I definitely think they'll get a comeback soon, like after Dream has the repackage and maybe after Red Velvet in August. But oh my God, I really hope 
one to seven as a comeback soon because I honestly miss them. But yeah, this is the empathy card for Chaehyun. This one is the dream version. I think I already have the reality version. I traded for that one. So yeah, finally got this one. Oh my god, him in these colored contacts though. This is such a throwback to boss era, OMG, I miss it, but I believe this is like the last card before the Neozone Kino, so yay! All right, they left us a cute little note. I wonder what card this is. <gasps> okay, it's a hot sauce one, my first Geno hot sauce card. Actually not my first because I pulled one in my original unboxing, but this one I believe, I think this is the bowl, no. The chilling, oh yeah, this is the chilling version, I remember. So yeah, this is the chilling version photo card. For some reason, the boring photo card, the one that I pulled in my original album, is the most difficult and the most expensive one to get. Like, these cards were like around like nine bucks a piece, I think, and the boring one goes for like 15 to 20. I'm just like, why? I know it's cute, but like, why, you know? And I traded it for Mark's because I wanted to get Mark's photo cards first and then like buy Geno's, but I didn't know the boring version would be so hard to get. So yeah, I haven't gotten it yet, but at least I have this one. The back again is super cute. The way I'm like still working on my hot sauce collection and they're gonna have their comebacks with their repackage soon. Oh my goodness. So yeah, stream Hello Future once it comes out. Oh, they wrote a cute little note for me. Thank you very much. I look forward to working with you again if I have another chance. Oh, that is actually so cute. Okay, let's see what card this is. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. We've all been waiting for this moment. This Hongun apple. <gasps> yeah, like I said before, this was definitely the most painful card to get. It was very scarce and very expensive, but I just decided to splurge and spend a little extra to get it. But I mean, y'all, this card is so pretty. I literally can. This might be my favorite Hongun card ever. <gasps> Him in this like fancy looking shirt, giving us very much Snow White vibes with this. It's so pretty. Oh, I can't believe I own this card now. <gasps> Love. So yeah, there's this. I should kind of pick up the pace. This video is getting kind of long. <gasps> okay, like I said, I've been working on my 17 collection a bit as well. And I do want to finish like the newer photo cards because they're not as bad as the older photo cards. And since I do have a lot of the newer cards complete, I'm just like, might as well finish them, you know? So I definitely needed to finish Chongan's um, newer photo card collections. So yeah, I found this set for You Made My Dawn. I believe this is the Eternal Sunshine version. So yeah, here is this one. Okay, this felt like super flimsy for a second, but I got kind of tripped out. But here is the Eternal Sunshine, the blue background. And then here is this one. Oh my god, sweater paws. So cute. I was about to say I miss Chungun's blonde hair, but he's blonde right now. Wait, right? Is he? Yeah, he's blonde for Ready of Love, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting like a brain fart right now, but so cute. <gasps> okay, so. Oh my god, they put this cute little Cheezung sticker in the corner. That's so cute. All right, so I did actually finish my Cheezung collection. This was one of the cards I was missing. Someone actually gifted me the other IMU card, which I am super grateful for. So this was one of them, one of the ones I was missing. Oh, this one's probably my favorite. Look at this pose that he's making. He's so adorable and he wrote IMU. Love the silver hair too. It's so pretty. <gasps> Such an adorable card, I can't. Even though these IMU cards are hella painful to get, I have it. Oops. Oh wow, they wrote it in three languages. Thank you for your purchase. Okay, we stand a multilingual seller. Should go off. <gasps> Speaking of hot sauce. So this one is the crazy version photo card. Him with this like just single streak. <laughs> just highlighted, but OMG. Again, he takes such good selfies for photo cards. The back is also very bright and pretty. Sorry, I'm trying to like not focus it on the back here. But OMG, almost done with my Geno hot sauce set. And then, yeah, I don't know if I'll finish Geno's cards before Hello Future comes out, but hopefully it won't be too bad. <laughs> okay, I think this is the last Hangun um, Border Day 1 card. 
Yes, okay. Oh, wait, actually, this one is different from these two. He's wearing a different outfit. <laughs> I remember now, so. Yeah, this outfit is so cute, though. Like, it's interesting how it's like this, though, but I really like the color of, like, the green and the orange. So pretty. And the clouds in the back. Look at that nature scene in the back. It's so pretty. This is literally a perfect nature selfie photo card, but... Yes, this one is from the Dawn version. So pretty. Ah, I can't. Okay. Did we finish Sangun? I forget. Maybe the last card is in here. I guess we'll find out. Ooh, okay. So we're ending off the small envelopes with this. Oh my god. Uh, again, like, if you know, you know, these teenage cards are a pain in the ass. I would have preferred to get the white version of the photo card, but oh my god. That photo card is like, no. That's like definitely off limits. That photo card is too much. And... The thing is, I remember when I first bought my teenage albums, like, a couple of years ago, I literally pulled that Mingyu white photo card. I literally pulled it, and then I traded it, like an idiot, so... <sighs> so many regrets. I wish I could take a time machine and tell myself to not do that, but... Obviously, I didn't know back then. That was literally, like, three years ago, so... <sighs> whatever. But anyways, I settled for this one. This one is probably my second favorite card. This is the RQNS version. So yeah, like I said, I'm only gonna get like one photo card per member or like try to. So yeah, this one's definitely my favorite. Look at him, like the purple and blue vibe is just so pretty. Him with these colored contacts, such a pretty card. I love the back to this like ombre effect or gradient. So yeah, now let's move on to our bigger packages. Honestly, I don't really remember buying like a lot of big packages or like big things. So I think some of these might be like photo cards, but they just put it in like a big top loader or something because sometimes people do that. Oh, what the? <laughs> I didn't, what the heck? Why did they put it in such a big, I feel like this could have fit in the small envelope. Okay, interesting. <laughs> but, oh gee, my first Clio photo card. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, Stray Kids is like doing a huge like, they're like brand ambassadors, I'm pretty sure, for Clio, which is a makeup brand. I've never actually heard of them before until Stray Kids started to like endorse them, so yeah. And then they dropped these photo cards. Now, obviously, Hyunjin is like on a hiatus right now. He's been on a hiatus for like such a long time, so they didn't drop the Clio cards. I really, really liked these cards. They're so cute. I could not resist, so I had to get one, at least one of them, so... Of course, I got Cheese Hung since I collect his cards next, but look at this card. It's so cute. The back is blank, but oh my god, look at how cute this card is. Oh my god, I really wish I can collect like the entire set, but obviously it's super expensive, so so cute though. Oh my god, he looks so adorable. His skin looks so soft too. I love the whole aesthetic. I literally, like, how could I resist? I don't even collect Cheese Hung non album cards that much, but I could not resist this card. I had to get at least one Clio card. So yeah, that explains that. Okay, next we have this one. This one, I feel bubble wrap, so. Oh, do y'all see what it is? Like it is a cute card, obviously, but like, look at the size of this. It's huge. Like for some reason, Big Hit likes to make some photo cards this size. Like I know for like BTS is like army bomb photo cards and like their concert photo cards, they're this size. And like, I know some of like TXT's concert cards were this big. Like why? <laughs> why do they have to make these like humongous? I don't get it. Cause you can't put these in a nine pocket page, obviously. So, which sucks because I definitely would have wanted to, but yeah, honestly, I really still wanted to collect it. It wasn't too expensive and the selfie is just too adorable to pass up. So yeah, this is from their like official like fan club kit um yeah look at how cute this is though it's literally this is so much bigger than i thought it would be though like compared to my hand like look at how big this thing is oh my goodness so yeah i definitely had to put this in like a four pocket or something which kind of sucks but i still had to get it and then it also comes with this like little magnet so it's so tiny so extreme zoom in but Look at how cute. I think I'm gonna stick this to like my three tier cards that I have next to me. Did you guys hear that? I just stuck the magnet. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll just live next to me for now. We have three more big packages. Oh, what is this? Oh my God, my parents are making dinner right now. It smells so good. I can smell it downstairs. I'm so hungry. <gasps> oh yeah, OMG. Oh, wait, my mom's calling me, hold on. Okay. 
sorry i had to answer my mom's call for a second she literally the fact that i was talking about dinner and she literally called me to come downstairs to eat dinner like bruh is she like listening to me or something but anyways this is such a random purchase i know but i saw this like i literally just searched up mark because i was like you know what what if there's like a mark photo card that i like didn't know existed but i needed because it's too cute okay how the hell do i open this ah, no okay there we go so this is i don't know how you pronounce it is it dicon d-i-con decon magazine so yeah they did a collab with nct or like nct was featured and then they sold like this like magazine set thingy and it came with like the magazine and like member sets of these inclusions it's literally so random but i saw it and it was like super cute and it was pretty decently priced so i was like you know what might as well so <laughs> Yeah, here's another impulsive purchase for my ever-growing Mark non-album collection, but yeah, so it comes with this really cute postcard, so yeah. I'm pretty sure it's D-Icon. Here's the postcard, so cute. And then it comes with these band-aids, like I don't think these are like actually meant to be used as band-aids, or maybe it is, I see like cotton, I don't know, I remember reading that it's not like a real band-aid, but obviously I'm not gonna use it as a real band-aid, I'm just gonna store this in my binder. <laughs> Look at this though, I can't believe this is like an official thing that like a magazine made like look at how cute that is i literally can't <gasps> so cute and then it comes with this photo card i know they made like a transparent photo card for this like one time i remember they did it with like a sticker set as well i have johnny's of it actually from a long time ago so yeah this is the picture that they used for the transparent card but oh my god this photo shoot was so iconic though i think it's like um a different member's hand that they're posing with <gasps> look at how cute this is oh my god so freaking cute and then on the other side is this photo which is really cute too like look at this denim jacket surf though omg yeah i cannot resist this double-sided cute photo card it's super thick again like japanese photo cards are always just so thick for some reason okay definitely know what this is <laughs> <sighs> Dun, 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 dun. so here is the actual paper toy oh my god this does not fit the frame but yeah oh wow i love it when they give me free folders so yeah i really wanted to get the paper toy i've been actually wanting to get this paper toy like for years now like i remember when it first came out like during limitless era like i wasn't like a well actually i was a stan of nct like during regular regular but i remember seeing this and i was like what is this? Like, like, what is this thing? You know, it's super cute, but then I never got around to getting it until now. So yeah, obviously I bought the photo card and then saw so like, I really want to get the paper toy too. So yeah, and look at this. It's in like perfect condition, basically. I was kind of scared because I was scared that this listing was too old and that the seller was inactive, but alas, it arrived at the warehouse and I was like, phew. So, ooh, comes in like this cute little folder. <gasps> Wow, look at these cute little stickers. Oh my goodness. It's like the paper toy version of the NCT members. <gasps> OMG. And obviously this is limitless, so Chungu wasn't here, but so cute. And then ah, here's the actual paper toy. Obviously, I'm not gonna assemble it right now. I definitely will do it like later and I'll probably post it on my Instagram story because look at how cute this is. So yeah, it turns into that. Yeah, I definitely I definitely don't need any more trinkets on my desk but yeah for example remember my last buy haul i made the elevator kit yeah this is what it looks like it's super cute so this will be a perfect addition to that but omg i can't wait to make this later though it's so cute okay and the last thing is super thick i know what this is as you can tell it's super thick so it's an album <laughs> Ooh. and then hyphen album <laughs> another one this is literally like my fifth copy of this album because yeah i bought the three set obviously and then i bought a target exclusive copy and now here's this one i obviously i didn't need the album itself but everything came with this album so i was like you know what i guess i'll just get it <laughs> let's go ahead and open it <gasps> yay okay so you know the main reason why i bought this is because of this card 
This is the Weaver's exclusive pre-order benefit. Um, I don't know if this is the Japanese or the Korean version. Someone did DM me saying that there's a difference between the Japanese and the Korean version. I forgot what the difference was. I think it was like mattes versus glossy. So yeah, this one is glossy. They're like the same thing, so it doesn't really matter as long as it's official. But this selfie is so cute though. Him in this denim jacket looks so good. Or is it a vest? I don't know, but it's super cute. He's in like the little half heart pose. So yeah, this is the main reason why I got it. But it also came with a bunch of like other stuff too. So first off, it came with this Balloon J card. Like I didn't know this at the time of my unboxing, obviously, but apparently like a lot of people really want this card. It's like a really high demand card. And a lot of people left comments that were like, oh my gosh, you pulled Balloon J. That's so rare and hard to find. You're so lucky. And I was like, oh my God, really? No way. So the fact that this came with another one. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this card yet. I think I might trade it for like... I don't know, Teddy Bear Chungwon or something since I really like that card. Here is another balloon. I'm not gonna sell this though, I don't think. So yeah, please don't DM me. And then it also comes with this. It comes with a bunch of like other pre-order benefits, but this one is a magnet pre-order benefit. I forgot which store it's from. I think maybe from Universal. I don't know. You know what? I'm always down to get some more pre-order benefits. So yeah, and I believe these are Weaver's pre-order benefits as well, I think. Here's like group cards. Yeah, I believe these are from Weavers, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But it's this one is like surprisingly thick. Oh my goodness. Like it's like a credit card almost, but this is the down concept. And then here we have the up concept. Again, always down to get some extra pre order benefits. And yeah, this honestly for all of this, it was actually like reasonably priced. I think all of this was $20. So like that's actually a pretty good deal for like an album, for this photo card, for the Weaver's period of benefit. And then for like all these other period of benefits, I was actually surprised that I found it for like around 20 bucks. Cause that's like the price of like a normal like album, you know? So I was like, damn, okay, what a steal. And then here is the hype version. It's so weird that it's like matte on the front and like glossy on the back, but it's cool. And then obviously it comes with like these other normal album inclusions. I think that's everything. Oh yeah. And then it also came with this. I believe this is a pre-order benefit from Universal Music. It's like a mini poster. It's so sad that it got like messed up in the middle. Uh, no. I mean, it wasn't like I was going to hang this up or anything, but it's just nice to have, you know? So this is the up concept. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, that concludes this quite long haul i didn't think it would take this long but here we are once again another crazy long collective haul because i'm crazy so yeah once again thank you so so much by for sponsoring this video and for helping me get these items love you guys so much once again, definitely check out the link in my description. If you guys want to check out Mercari Japan using Bai E, you get 20, I mean, 2000 yen off your purchase when you sign up using that link. So yeah, again, it's for first time users. So yeah, but anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I can't wait to store all these in my binder. Definitely will be coming soon. And I'm very excited to start another collection for Enhypen. I can't believe I'm collecting a third member already, but I'm just insane. So yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all the continuous love and support. I really do feel it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.